Hello and welcome to the Killer Bits. My name is Francesca and this week on Heroes of Storm we are checking out Tyriel, the, uh, oh they're saying hi, I'll say hi, the uh, fallen angel from uh, Diablo. And I often mistake Tyriel for a girl because he has these two circular plates on his chest. Uh, but it turns out he is in fact a big black dude. Um, and we're going to be doing like a tanky build, so kind of like a guardian build today. Uh, so first and foremost we want to basically make it so that regen globes increase our health regen because that basically is going to make us uh, live longer in a um, team fight. This one is kind of useless because we, we don't really want to die, so let's try not to die. In fact, that's kind of how his passive works. Basically his passive, if he dies, you become invulnerable and explode for damage, but it's an annoying passive because you don't want to die. Like, here's a passive where you die. Uh, meanwhile, his Q, you throw out a sword, Eldruin's Might, and then if you activate it again, you can teleport to it and slow nearby enemies. His W gives himself and nearby allies a shield. Um, his shield is much bigger than that of his allies. Meanwhile, his smite at rank uh, E, rank E, uh, his third ability, does uh, rakes an area for damage, and then if you move through that, you gain movement speed. So if we go like this, and then we run through that, we'll get movement speed. And uh, meanwhile, Tassadar is down here as well, which is irritating. Um, but yeah, so we're going to do a tanky build because our team doesn't really have a lot of tank, uh, which is not really fun. Now, this week is kind of a frustrating week for me because it is Nova Free Week, and Nova Free Weeks are never fun because... You tend to get some very uh, new Nova players coming along, which is you know less than less than ideal. Uh, we're just gonna kind of hit him. There we go. He's backed off. Um, and pop our shield there. With the thing is, we both have shields, so I don't really know who's gonna take these coins. So long as someone gets them. So as long as I get them. Oh, I'm just trying to hope he'll uh, he'll pop the 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 chest open and I can get as many as I can. There we go. I got I got all of them except one. And then we can teleport to our queue and kind of get out of there. So the idea there was just to kind of nick, um, whoa, I clicked on the map, nick some of, uh, as many coins as I could and not die. And that's why I went bottom because Tyrell's kind of tanky, so he does better. Uh, our team has died twice, which kind of happens. It's, it's unfortunate. Like, the thing is I can't tell what's going on at the top because I really have to kind of focus on, on being down here. Often on this map, at least in, uh, casual games, you get it so that if you go bottom, someone else doesn't, which I think is kind of fun because it gives you free farm and gives you the edge. Unfortunately, we really aren't farming XP very well, um, whereas up at top lane, you see their Tyrael is up there farming XP, but my team sadly is in fact uh, missing. Oh, there we go, it's just gone up there. Um, so yeah, so we're going to do a tank build because our team currently doesn't really have a tank. Uh, casual games, basically, you pick who you want to play before you go into the game, so that is not ideal. Um, and we've got some really cool stuff coming, actually, with the next patch, which has been announced with... Uh, with Blizzcon. Is she going to come back? She's probably going to come back. I'm not even going to try and do this. Um, so in the next patch, there should be more gold with leveling up. If you've leveled up to level 30, you have talent gating removed, which is super awesome. And Sylvanas is coming out. There's also a new map coming. So, you know, like um, Blizz, not Blizzcon, uh, PAX. This all came out of PAX. So PAX has been pretty good. We're going to uh, amplify our healing effects because we have a Rhaegar on our team who heals. So this is useful. We'll also later on pick a talent that, that heals us. Um, so those two uh, combined together basically lead to, to fun times. Unfortunately, I'm really not going to be able to push Tassadar out, I don't think, too hard. So what I'm really just trying to do here is make sure that I'm getting the farm from uh, from the lane. So making making sure that, that when the minions die, I'm close enough to, uh, to gain the XP from them. So you see the plus XP popping up in purple. Uh, and unfortunately, we're dying again. They're fighting over vision. This is, this is a, in my opinion, a needless fight for this game. Like at this point, we just need to farm. And you can tell that Tassadar knows that he has to do that. Um, and I know that I have to do that. The good news is Tassadar's only real damage is his psionic strike. You see that, that small circle of, of lightning. Um, so he's, he's not too much of a threat in that he's not going to burst me, provided I don't stand on that. Uh, so we should be more or less okay. Uh, although I do need to actually go back to base now, unfortunately. We are going to grab this regen. Although, actually, no, we've, we've got well. So well has, um, has become available again for us, so that's useful. Um, although now we have two bottom, so... Uh, probably gonna get pushed out of lane here, um, which isn't great, but you know, this is what can I do? Uh, missing bottom. Uh, I'll just say SS. Oops, can't type. I just trying to type SS very quick, which is in League of Legends that means missing, but it doesn't seem to be working. And I think they've gone to kind of get some coins. Um, so I'm gonna try and hand these in. You see that our team has handed in six, so if I hand these in, we should get to uh, shoot them. So hopefully they went to get this. I'm hoping they went to get the camp. And if they went to get the camp, which I think is what they did, I should be able to hand these in no bother, as you can see there. Uh, and now we have um, uh, th them getting shot, which is kind of the point. 
Next talent you want is you want basic uh, attacks to decrease ability cooldowns. None of these are really particularly tanky talents, but this one basically gives you a little bit more utility in your kit as it reduces the cooldown. There's no point getting movement speed when you throw your Q because it slows them anyway. So provided you're using your Q effectively, you shouldn't actually need the bonus movement speed. Um, shield exploding is not that useful, and increasing the shield duration again isn't too useful e either because ideally you should be you should be okay. Whereas this kind of gives us a bit more from everything. So this is the talent I like to build on a on a guardian build. I mean, you can you can increase your shield duration uh, if you feel like you're getting kind of whoops pushed out, and I'm gonna need help down here. This I can't hold this. Uh, I'm gonna try and hit that. There we go. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead. I'm so not dead. I can't I can't def I can't hold it because. I've got no health, uh, which they know. And so I can't kill these dudes because I've got no health, which is unfortunate. I mean, we had Rhaegar show up a little bit later on, earlier on, but really I've kind of been left to my own devices, bottom line, which I don't mind. Um, but when there's two of them pushing down four and I have no health and they have um, uh, a troll camp or an ogre camp, like this is definitely a problem because if they're free pushing, it means that they don't need to use coins to get to get the push, uh, which in this case is, is, is less than lucrative. So here I'm just kind of using abilities to clear. Uh, because I'm not doing a clear build, we're not really having um, the best of it. Oops, I cast the wrong ability there. Just trying to hit, kill him. Um, and I don't really want them to have free farm. Oh dear. Let's see the entire enemy team is then rotated in here. That's a fake Nova, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, Nova free week is, is kind of the worst thing ever, in my opinion. It's just not fun. Um, but Tyrael, Tyrael's pretty fun. So yeah, we'll try out this, we'll try out this build. Uh, Rhaegar free week as well. Rhaegar has a ultimate that basically he can he can zero to a hundred heal someone, um, and I think it, it, people find it rather frustrating. You'll probably notice him use it here uh, if we're not if we're not careful. Um, although we can we can catch him here, I think. Oh, he's getting shielded by Tassadar. Yeah, there's no point. Throw out our um, Q, and then remember we can teleport to that. So it's really useful for going in, and it's really useful for getting out. Um, and yeah, there's there's the heal. You saw it started to trigger, but actually we managed to we basically managed to hit him before he could do that. I've got no mana, so I'm just gonna have to ch kind of chase here. That Nova is definitely a fake. That's the real Nova there, and we shouldn't get confused. Oh, hit him once more. There we go. Good job, team. And really nice ultimate coming out there. So I'm just trying to be a frontline more than anything here. I'll pop my shield and give Rhaegar a little bit of a shield as well. Gonna try and get in the way of these shots. Oh, Nova, Nova, um, uh, what are they called? Nova's um, decoy can actually block the shots there, and that was really nicely played by her. We're going to pick up the Judgment ability. Uh, I think it's better because it stuns, which can then be used to counter, for example, Vala ult. Although she didn't actually pick Strafe, I don't think. Maybe she did. Oh no, our Vala didn't pick Strafe. Let's have a look. There, Vala. Uh, oh, she did Oh, she did pick Strafe, so we can counter her ult. There you go, see. Uh, you should probably check these things beforehand. But, but Oh, I should have used my Q. What I'm saying is that um, uh, the, the ultimate, then I can charge in on her and, and she'll... Uh, oh, she's going to get fully healed there. If I charge in on her, she'll... Um, It'll counter her ult. Also, often teammates don't really notice when they're invulnerable. Uh, and this is a um, channeled ability, which is is kind of um, useless. So basically, you'll make them invulnerable, but it's not it's not the perfect. I prefer the one with the CC. This is, again, personal preference. So tank build, you can pick either of these things, but I like judgment. I think it's it's fun, and it helps you get into fights and also initiate team fights quite well. And Tyrael, if anything, is a very good initiator. He's not the tankiest, but... What he lacks in tank, he makes up for in like the way he can initiate fights. Although I'm hoping my team will uh, rotate in at this point, and we can basically just jump on Rhaegar. So, yeah, we can definitely jump on Rhaegar here. So we'll ult him. Watch, we'll jump in, stunned uh, for a long, long time. And um, oh, unfortunate. He got he got a speed boost and got out, unfortunately. But that's that's kind of idea. Is is very good for picks. Is this ultimate um, compared to the other one, which is I think maybe more team fight orientated, but it does force everyone to then focus you, which, I mean, you do want as a tank, but it's it's very situational, I guess. Uh, what is going on here? Oh, I can't stun her now. I can kill this Nova. Come here, you. There we go. Now we gotta, we're gonna throw our Q. Go! Go! Whee! Teleporting! <laughs> um, once we get close to base, I'm actually gonna just recall like this because you get a big healing boost when you get back into base. Next up, uh, talent-wise, we want to get health regeneration when attacked. So this will stack with that healing talent we got there, increases healing effects. So basically, while shielded, if people are attacking you, you actually get health back, which is super useful. You could slow the enemy attack and movement speed, and that can be useful, but I think that the health regen is more because it gives you a bit more sustain, and especially when you can combine it with this talent, which I think is worth picking, especially when you have a healer. Um, life can be good. 
Um, so yeah, it, it depends what happens here. I'm, I'm hoping for the for the team to follow up. We can actually go on Vala here. Oh, or, or you know, they could get caught up killing t uh, Tyrael, which is kind of what I was hoping wouldn't happen. And we'll keep hitting her. I think we've got her. This is what I like about, about this hero, is that he's... Um, He's quite tanky, and he does a fair amount of damage, so he's quite a good hybrid. So if you if you like damage and and um, killing things, then you know you're in the right place. Oops, I I didn't mean to teleport to that. Accidentally reactivated that, uh, which is unfortunate. But you know, let's go down here and get these coins. Hopefully the team will come with me. Yep, uh, and we're starting to play much more as a unit now, which I think is better. Um, one thing that I think is important to get very good at heroes is starting to learn what these abilities mean and what the talents mean so that you can very quickly kind of check what how someone else is built in order to, you know, choose to counter them really. Um, so we've got doubloons here. I don't actually need to hand any in because this should hit us, put, put us on 12, which puts us in a nice happy position. Uh, Asmodon just dying in bottom lane, not really sure what that what that decision was all about. Um, but we're now, we're now shooting them, so that's good. So I'm going to go get this uh, farm in middle lane. Um, so that to make sure that we're you know getting plenty of XP, plenty of farm, uh, and killing things. Vala has no mana, so we don't really want to fight at this point. And it's important to kind of keep an eye on these things. Unfortunately, Rhaegar, they're also getting caught out trying to get a camp. And you have to be careful on this side because you are kind of gankable. Like you can you can kind of get picked off. Um, fortunately, here we can just do that, and we should be able to slow them if we throw that out, pop our our shield, and then uh, just take the damage here. We're actually going to stun. Oh, I stunned the wrong one. Oh, I've done go I've done goofed. I'm dead. Um, so this is his passive. This is the most... I think it's stupid because, like, I blow up and I do damage, sure. But I have to be dead to use it. So it's kind of an irritation more than a passive. It, passive. It, you can use it to pick off someone who maybe you 1v1 to low health. But it's not, in my opinion, the best passive in the game. I think there are better abilities out there. Um, but yeah, Tyrael. So, so not, a, not a girl. This is what we've learned. Not a girl. Um, I don't really think he's the tankiest person ever. I think you kind of, ideally, like in the best world, you'd want to build him kind of so that he would go in and initiate a fight so that he can kick the team fight off uh, and then kind of um, set things up with, with the judgment and with the Q and, and the slows and stuff. He's more kind of utility-based tank than he is kind of true tank uh, in that he doesn't take take huge amounts of health because he doesn't really have a heal and his his health pool is, is decent, but I think there are better health pools out there. Oh, they have boss. We need to defend this. That is unfortunate. And that was a very good decision by the enemy team. They saw that, you know, uh, there was an opportunity to take boss and they took it. Which is which is not great for us, but... And Vala definitely can't hold this on her own. Um, Rhaegar needs to come up. Asmodan is dead again. I think I think Asmodan is on rotation too, so it's another one of those weeks. We'll just uh, pop that there. Next up, we're going to improve our heal, our shield, and also make it so that uh, it's stronger the more people we, we shield, so that we can... Um... Oh, shit. That's not good. I don't know who to blow up. I guess I could blow up. Oh! Oh, he's so nearly dead. Damn it. So we, we blew up um, Tassadar there, but Rhaegar will just heal him up. Uh, and yeah, I think our Asmodan is having a, a tough game. Uh, I mean, he's doing a lot of siege damage, which is what Tass uh, Asmodan does best, and he's contributed a lot of XP, but he doesn't really seem to be very present in teamfights, uh, which at this point in the game, we kind of need him. They're a little bit ahead in XP, so it's not ideal. Asmodan says that he's split pushing. There you go. Uh, he's, so he's just trying to push down structures, which can be good because if we can push down structures without spending coins, that's beneficial. But like at this point, we need to defend this. Like, there's no point split pushing if they're going to take down our tier two, um, which is what they're doing. And you see, he, I think he's kind of realized that and come to fight because we're kind of going in one at a time, and um, that is definitely not what we want to be doing here. However, Nova, we can definitely alt her and basically try to put some damage out. Uh, I can't, I can't fight this by myself. I'm getting altered. You're gonna take some shots from me. Cheers, darling. Ah! Why didn't I tap the well? Why didn't it tap? I'm out. So I'm, what I'm trying to do is kite them, basically, past our, our stuff. Uh, so we can do this and we can just try and take out Rhaegar. Rhaegar is the target because he does all the healing and does all the sustain and just doesn't make life very fun for anyone. So that's why we're trying to kill him here. I should more or less be able to- oh, he's in wolf form. I was gonna say I should be able to kill him. Uh, and yeah, uh, come here. We're gonna mount. Fuck it. No, we, we whiffed it. Oh, I didn't think realize Vala was there. We didn't quite get him, but we did zone him out a little bit. And we've stopped the boss, so it's, it's still- it's still- we can still win. Definitely we can still win. I have- oh, he has five coins. Okay. Uh, Tassadar's here. Danger! Danger! Oh, he just got caught up by everyone. That's the real one there. 
That one, right there. Uh, you could tell because you saw the shimmer. Coming round now, which means we can definitely pick her off. Uh, hopefully she'll go this way. Oh, you fool. You're right there. I'm body blocking you, darling. And we got her coins. Uh, we want to hand these coins in for sure. Um, but also what we want to do is try and zone out the enemy team. So there, oh, Vala ulting. And immediately I saw her ult and basically countered it with my ult, which is what you want to be doing if you have a stun ult. Abilities, ults that you can counter with stuns, you need to stun. Like you basically just need to do something about them. We'll pop our shield here. And there's another one. That's really well zoned out by the team. Uh, ping this. Go hand in your coins, darlings. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Rhaegar. 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 Still Rhaegar. Still focusing the wrong person. Still need to be focusing Rhaegar. Uh, yeah, he's gone. I can't, I can't kill him, but I can definitely zone him out. Hi, Rhaegar. I heard you want to fight. So he's just going to heal himself. I'm just trying to hold this, hold this fight long enough for my team to then come in. Uh, and we should be able to fight them here because we're 3v3. Heal me! Heal me! Why didn't you heal me, you butt? This is a useless ultimate. I killed someone, but still a useless ultimate. I guess he had no mana. That's a fair reason not to heal me. I'll ping these. We've got three of them dead versus two of us. So we should be okay. Uh, Asmodan can definitely get that treasure. He should really be channeling on this. If he cap channels, it does tick damage. Uh, he's not going to channel on it. So if he does his channeled ability, this would have been dead by now. Um, unfortunately, Vala, they're going to get coins and getting picked off. Uh, not great, but this is still, I think, anyone's game. And, and actually, I think it's been quite a balanced game. If you look at kind of XP and stuff, it's been it's been fairly close. He should mount up and run away. Nope, danger, 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 danger. Oh, you silly goose, and now you're dead because you're the slowest person in the entire game. So I knew that was the case. But unfortunately, he chose to... Uh... Oh, the triple taps. Unfortunately, he chose to... Um die, I guess. Oh, why no, 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 no. Why didn't you mount, woman? Uh, this is... She's gonna overextend. They've gotta be careful here. Like, they can try and get a kill, but really, the enemy team is gonna rotate in, so you need to be careful. Um, and hopefully they'll be okay. I think they're fake Novas. I have no idea if they're real Novas or not. No, you're completely overextending! Please! Please! Retreat! Oh god, they're gonna die. Like, they've completely overextended their fight here. What? Idiots. <sighs> like, I don't understand how, how you could extend that far and think that you'd be okay. Like, it doesn't make any logical sense. We should probably take that one. They're gonna get it, I think. Like, if I were them, I would go get the hard camp. Although, well, boss is up as well, so I'm gonna ping that just as a warning. <sighs> it's a shame. It's a sh like. The thing is, like, I guess when you're not playing, you can kind of just watch and you can see exactly what's going to happen and how it's going to go down. And I think that was the case with that fight, is that I could see exactly when um, things were going to go down. Also, the reason I popped my Q there, the teleport, was so that it went on cooldown sooner. So, you know, if you're using it for damage on camps, if you teleport straight away, uh, it goes on cooldown sooner, which is, you know, preferable. Preferable. Uh, they're here. Well, you should be able to come in and fight this, though. Uh, no, maybe not. Maybe not. Just, I just need to kind of get some damage out on these camps. If we can kind of kill the camp quite quickly, we should be mostly okay uh, to fight it. Um, which is what I'm trying to do here. Just kind of put a little bit of damage out with Vala uh, in order to get that. And we'll ult him now. Oh, shit. That's the real one. Oh, no, it's not. It's a fake. Damn it! I thought it was a real one. I whiffed it. Let's just leave. Come on. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. One of us should have died there. And the fact that neither of us did is just testament to both of us knowing what we're doing. Like, literally, that was weird. Uh, we have a very hard push bottom. Um, so we're going to have to look to kind of hold this. Uh, where is our team? Nova's dead, unfortunately. Unfortunate. I think I'm doing okay. I like, quite enjoy playing Tyrael. He's he's fun. He got a nerf recently. They, they took away one of his abilities. We're actually going to pick this, this shield one because this is like for tanking. We want this basically. Uh, so instead of buffing our ultimate, basically activate to cast, to generate a shield, you take reduced damage by 75% for 4 seconds. It's pretty good. Um, and we should probably look to basically get them as, as they hand in coins. So, oh, I'm not even mounted. This is maybe a problem. I didn't realize I wasn't mounted. So uh, what we're going to do look to do is throw that out there. And then uh, pick off 
Tyrael, although he's probably just going to toss it out. He's just going to run away. I'm not really surprised. I think they'll be at boss. Oh, Jesus. Right. Okay. Nova, you're dead. So Nova, uh, it's all about positioning. There you go. Um, and she tried to trick me there, but it wasn't going to work. You're dead too. <laughs> and no, we've definitely got coins here. I'm going to ping boss. 100% we should go to boss. And that's where I'm going to go now. Basically, we've got cannons shooting them, so we're in a pretty good position. Now we take boss, because we just killed three of them. We killed Tyrael, we killed Rhaegar, we killed Nova. They only have Vala and Tassadar up, and they shouldn't be able to contest this against five of us, uh, because everyone is obviously here. Um, so yeah, that was pretty good. Uh, you, the thing with, with um, that fight there was uh, I, I know that Nova was kind of, if you hit her, she's out of position, and Rhaegar was too busy trying to stop everyone else in order to kind of do anything. Um, I'll pop in my shield here basically to just get the heals off it uh, while we tank the boss. But, you know, that's 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 boss. Easy peasy. And uh, we're in a very strong position now. Because, you know, we have a lot of a lot of stuff. I'm going to try and do this um, camp down here. Because we have enough people down there doing that. Um, so if we can kind of do this. Again, use the shields for, for heals and stuff. Then we're in a, a good position. Um, and also the fact that I've got full health. I've got no mana is the only real issue. Uh, and they've all just spawned, so we're going to have to be a bit careful. I'm actually going to go to hand in coins, because I've got five. He's got six, I've got five. So that's 11 of the 18. Because um, they're going to have to deal with the boss anyway. So hopefully my team should be okay without me. Oh, take the hits, take the hits. Oh, he's gonna, he may die for it. He may have just saved her by dying. Yeah, Asmodan saved Vala's life, but died in the process. And uh, this is a bit of a messy fight, guys. Messy, messy fight. I don't know if our Rhaegar actually took the healing ultimate. I'm assuming he did. Assuming he did. Oh shit, I've handed in my coins. I should probably stop just like watching. Uh, our Rhaegar picked... Oh, he didn't. He picked the one that buffs our damage. So he, he has an ultimate that could have basically f fully heals people. Um, but he didn't pick it. <coughs> oh, sorry guys. A bit of a cough. On my way up the top. We should be able to fight this. Although I can see a, uh, a Nova. There we go. Yeah, he's dead. We can stun him like that. Um, so waited for his invisible vulnerability basically to come off and then just taking the kill. Uh, danger here, so we want to be careful. Uh, I don't really want to fight anymore, but, you know, it's it's kind of hard. Uh, you're by yourself, buddy. So here I want to go on, um, on Vala. Uh, although I don't really want to go 3v4, so let's just throw this. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm not okay. Pop my shield, pop my shield. There we go. Pop my other shield. Still shielded. Look at me go. Look at me go. I am the greatest. Throw that down and we're out. And uh, did Vala die? No, Vala's out too. Cool, I'm going to go back to base. Let's just recall here. Uh, but we've got two of their tier twos and they have none of ours. So we're, we've got stronger minions pushing in two of the three lanes, which also gives us a bit of an easier time when it comes to it. Uh, they're here. Danger. Nope. Danger here. Although, no, they haven't. I was going to say, have they got Vala? They should have Nova. There we go. Now we go here. Go here. Please. Please. I know they're here. I saw them. There we go. Uh, so I basically stopped them from capping this. And he healed himself way too soon there. And that was definitely a mistake. Um, because what he did was he healed himself when he was on like half health. Uh, which is something you don't want to do. Um, and they basically, we've zoned them out of the camp. And now we can take the coins and then fight them. So that was just being aware. That's map awareness right there. I spotted them earlier on when I was keeping an eye on things. Uh, so, you know, we'll just hit, we'll just hit uh, Tyrael. And we can go and take this now. Because we've zoned those two out, Nova's dead. Uh, we should be more or less okay to take this. And then hand in these coins. I don't necessarily think Nova should pick, uh, Vala should have picked up that many because she's a squishy. Um, the other thing to remember is they're here. She's got, she's got 10 coins. Here, come here. Basically, she's going to try and hand in her 10 coins and we should be ready to kill her. Or not. Oh, I don't have quite enough. I need seven, and I have six. Well, at least if we get rid of the six, we're in a better position. There we go. And if he gets in his one, they can't then hand in coins, which means we can then look to pick off Vala. There we go. Come on. Let's get her. Oh, Alton two. Alton two. Alton one. Alting, Alting, Alting. Give me your coins, woman! No coins for you! Toss it off. Um, and at this point, like I say, I'm just looking to tank hits. Um, 
And we managed to definitely kill someone there. I don't know which one is real. Oh, we won. GG. Oh, I didn't realize that uh, we had such a push. Jiminy Cricket. The hard camp just pushed and they weren't defending their base. That is a uh, Tyrael build and the score is now this. So yay, winning. Tyrael is not a chick. Um, but that is kind of a guardian tanky build for him. I think he's quite fun in that he's very much a hybrid. You can do a lot of damage whilst also sustaining a lot of hits, um, which you hopefully saw there, using the shield and the healing uh, to basically sustain you through whilst you use your Q and your W, and also using your ultimate to CC people and being aware of enemies' uh, ability sets. And I got my uh, my quest gold, which is always good. Um, if you want anyone, me to play anyone, bear in mind it, it depends on who's rotation, on rotation. I know there's been Abathur and Murky requests. Let me know in the comments below because I don't want to buy anyone I haven't yet played. Um, if you like the build or you have any suggestions, again, comments. And if you've enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button. We also have a Facebook at facebook.com forward slash the killerbits and a Twitter at the killerbits. And I'll see you guys next week with another Hero of the Storm. Bye.